Today, I want to introduce you to Art Deco. Travel back with me to the age of jazz, when people wanted to forget the trauma of World War I and delight in modern luxuries and materials. Although this style was introduced at the World's Fair in Paris 1925, it was originally called style moderne, as the term Art Deco was not yet coined. While the previous modern art styles fit mainly within the fine arts realm, what you'd find in a museum, Art Deco was prevalent in both fine arts and applied arts, as it lent itself easily to architecture, what with its obsession with new materials and technologies. As you can imagine, designers were highly interested and began applying Art Deco features to both the interiors and exteriors of new construction. Take the Chrysler Building, for example. This famous New York skyscraper is without a doubt the very face of Art Deco architecture. It was built during an age where large corporations raced to have the tallest buildings in the major cities in America. Notice the crown ornamentation. William Van Allen designed this feature in steel, very modern, to appear as though a jeweled crown was placed upon the top of the building. Eagle gargoyles also adorn the building, designed to resemble the hood ornaments of Chrysler automobiles in the 20s. The combination of sweeping curves and bold geometrics was all a part of Art Deco's signature style. Bold, modern, very fancy. The style is also known for its strong colors, lavish flares, and futuristic appearance. Fashion trends of the decade echo these qualities and also make an appearance in much of the two-dimensional artwork. You will start to notice the repetition of motifs such as zigzags, chevron patterns, stepped designs, sunbursts, and sweeping curves. Designs appeared streamlined and elongated, naturally aerodynamic and therefore technologically efficient as well as aesthetically pleasing. Art Deco had a universal application and these motifs immediately began to appear on everything from buildings and magazine covers to shoes and lamps. Art historians have noted that preceding styles like Futurism and Cubism have lent their geometric rectilinear designs to Art Deco. Hopefully you can see a hint of similarity between the fragmented shapes from Cubism and the stepped features in Art Deco works. The influences of Art Deco continue to reach into all areas of design up until World War II. I already mentioned how Cubism inspired Art Deco style, but you should also know that Art Deco then in turn, influenced movements like Memphis, bright geometric furniture, and pop art, which, like Art Deco, inserted itself into many realms of art and design. The name Art Deco itself was not coined until the 60s, when art historian Beavis Hillier wrote a book about the style's influence on the 20s and 30s. <laughs>